You know, in addition to this Mardi Gras YouTube series, I've published the Mardi Gras Guide magazine. I've done books about Mardi Gras and individual crews. But for the past several years, I've had the pleasure of working with the Fox 8 local first news team. And we've done uh, quite a few features on Mardi Gras. And here's one of them I hope you might like. The Zulu Social Aid and Pleasure Club gets a lot of credit for being the oldest and largest African-American parade. But there's another such group presenting its 47th parade this year in Algiers. It all started in 1951 with the Jug Social Club, but the group had an idea for something grander. Three or four of the guys that were founders of this organization attended the Young Men Illinois uh, Club's Ball. Mm -hmm. And back then, you know, they, there was no bridge, mm -hmm. and so uh, they had to cross on a ferry, which gave them a lot of time to, to talk and have conversation on the way back. It was on that ride that Nam Talk, New Orleans' most talked of club, was born. So they set up home base in an Algiers clubhouse, not only for their members to enjoy, but also to have a place to plan how they would give back to their neighbors. We started in the community with uh, the original members, and they saw their role as, as more servant in the community. Yeah. Uh, they did voter registration really? drives, yes, and, th and Thanksgiving and food drives. It's an effort that keeps going to this day. James Henderson is NomTalk's president, he says that in 1970, the late mayor, Moon Landrew, was instrumental in helping the crew become the first African-American crew to roll on the West Bank. And the demand to get in the crew has exploded. The ridership has jumped. Uh, yeah, it's almost doubled. Uh, we're up to almost, I think, six, right around 600 now. He says while well, every parade has floats, they wanted their audience to feel the soul of Carnival. We pride ourselves on bands, yeah. uh, and, and we work our budget so that we can have good bands in the parade. They come from all across the country to really put on a show. <laughs> Namtok fans literally demand the best. They get to come to the float and shop. They tell you what they want. Oh, really? Yes, it's not throw me something, mister. <laughs> it's I want that. No, 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 no. I want that. <laughs> This year will be no exception. You got the Flex Frisbee. Oh. And this is really neat. This deal here folds up. I don't know how to do it, but it can fold. <laughs> you can fold it up and put it in your pocket. Yeah. But beyond the pageantry and parade glitz, Henderson hopes Dom Talk will keep leading by example. We've helped uh, families that's been distressed in, in different ways that, that need help. We see events and they just, you know, embrace it. And we want to continue having a great time with Mardi Gras, but we also want to impact people's lives in a different way. In Algiers, Arthur Hardy, Fox 8 News.